The solar system is a large territory that is yet to be fully explored. It is unclear to scientists how planets came to be billions of years ago, how life came to be on Earth, or whether it spread to other planets. Another unsolved mystery in space was that of extraterrestrial travelers believed to have been wandering among the stars for billions of years. Although they had a sneaking suspicion that they would frequently pay our solar system a visit, none had ever been observed. There were suspicions that these strange characteristics of unusual objects might disclose information about our cosmos that isn't available from more extensively researched solar system items. In 2017, an interstellar object which was traveling through our solar system was discovered by a group of astronomers at Hawaii's Haleakala Observatory. It was dubbed Oumuamua, a Hawaiian word which means scout. This object was pretty significant as the first known object to travel through our solar system from another star system. The object was about 800 meters long and 80 meters broad, with a reddish tint and a cigar-like form. It flew around 195,000 miles per hour through our solar system, despite its size. According to scientists, Oumuamua may have been part of a more significant object evicted from its parent star system owing to gravitational interaction. The item is believed to have originated from the direction of Vega, an extraterrestrial star located approximately 147 trillion miles away. Its rapid velocity and trajectory suggested that it was not gravitationally connected to our Sun and was traveling too quickly to be trapped by the Sun's gravity and stay in our solar system. By the time it was discovered, the object, which may have resembled an extended cigar or an uncannily spaceship-like disk, had already passed by our Sun, executed a sharp hairpin turn, and departed in a different direction. Scientists could only watch the strange visitor for 11 days before it became too small and faint to detect. The nature of Oumuamua remains a mystery due to the minimal information acquired from such a brief observation period. Its unique form and rapid speed indicate that it may be a comet or an asteroid. Still, the absence of a visible coma or tail suggests it's not a typical comet. The arrival of Oumuamua to our solar system has given scientists a once-in-a-lifetime chance to investigate an object from another star system up close. Astronomers from all across the globe have acquired information on its size, shape, composition, and trajectory. Several other possibilities not involving extraterrestrial life have also been put forward by astronomers. One hypothesis is that Oumuamua might be a nitrogen iceberg that broke off a Pluto-like object long ago. However, it's inconceivable, according to Loeb and his Harvard student colleague Amr Siraj, since pure nitrogen is very uncommon on Pluto and across the cosmos, they determined that a mind-bogglingly large amount of exoplutos would be needed to produce a pure nitrogen Oumuamua. Others have hypothesized that Oumuamua may be a block of solid hydrogen created due to the solar system's formation at the periphery of a massive molecular cloud. Others contend that Oumuamua is really a comet, either an extraterrestrial one thrown out of its home solar system by a gravitational interaction, or one that originated in our solar system, traveled far outside, then circled back in for one last dance. Only one additional interstellar visitor has been seen in the years following the discovery of Oumuamua. The blue comet, known as 2I Borisov, appeared and behaved much like any other comet as it made its way through space, leaving behind a path of dust and gas. Comet 2I Borisov was discovered in 2019 by an amateur astronomer named Gennady Borisov from the Crimean region. Borisov claimed the comet was near the brilliant star Capella in the constellation Auriga. Borisov was attending the Russian-Ukrainian Southern Night Star Gala in Crimea, Ukraine, at the time of his discovery. He captured his first comet using an 8-inch wide-field telescope of his own invention paired with the CCD camera. It is believed that Comet 2i Borisov is around 3,200 feet and moved at a speed of approximately 110,000 miles per hour, which prevents the Sun's attraction from capturing it and pulling it into orbit around the Sun. It is re-entering interstellar space at a high rate, never to be seen again. The new comet is dim and resembles a tiny fuzzy 13th magnitude patch with a brighter core. To view it, you will need a 10-inch telescope. The reason for the early hour is that Borisov is located in Auriga. The constellation doesn't clear the horizon until just before dawn. Comet Borisov will be an appealing, although difficult, target for amateur astronomers due to its dimness and low altitude. 
Borisov is relatively active, behaving more like a typical comet than Oumuma did, which gave the impression that it was a rock. This goes to say that there has never been anything like Oumuma. They believe that Comet 2i Borisov's surface will most likely have rough surfaces covered in smooth blankets of frozen, dusty material like comets from our planetary system. Comet 2i Borisov can't maintain its own atmosphere since the comet does not have sufficient mass and, thus, sufficient gravity. However, it developed a coma, a dust-filled cloud of gas surrounding the comet's nucleus. Comas are formed when the ice on a comet is warmed by solar heating, which causes fine dust to be lifted off the comet's surface and into space. Comets that venture closer to the Sun than Jupiter's orbit tend to develop comas. Research shows that the Sun and the planets in its solar system did not play a role in forming this comet. It may be either younger or much older than our family of planets, which is 4.5 billion years old. A significant number of comets formerly created in the vicinity of our Sun have been expelled from our solar system, most often due to gravitational interactions with Jupiter. So it's not inconceivable that Comet 2i Borisov was likewise expelled from its birthplace. The reason for these two being so different remain a mystery, remarked David Jewett, who heads up the Hubble team that was in charge of the observations of the comet at the University of California, Los Angeles. Its discovery as the first comet that has been shown to have traveled between the stars rapidly became a sensation on a worldwide scale. A few weeks after its discovery, observations by amateur and professional astronomers were able to track the course of the transient visitor and prove that it originated from a system other than our solar system. In 2020, astronomers using Hubble detected a remarkable shift in the lock of the comet, rather than the single brilliant inner core shown in prior photographs. The new images suggested that a piece had broken away from the comet's nucleus. This suggests that the comet's course is still being altered significantly by the Sun's gravity. The majority of other comets originate from either the Kuiper Belt, which is a donut-shaped region filled with icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune, or from the Oort Cloud, which is the most remote region of our solar system, beginning some 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun and containing billions of comets orbiting in a spherical shell. Both of these regions are located beyond the orbit of Neptune. Researchers plan to keep an eye on the comet using the Hubble telescope. Hopefully, the information gathered will aid in a better understanding of the nature and origins of interstellar objects and provide insights into the creation and development of other star systems in our galaxy. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.